to the families of Uvalde, Texas, my heart and my prayers are with you in spirit. You dig? Today's topic is about emotional pain and unhealed wounds. And if you're experiencing emotional pain today and unhealed wounds from the tragedies that have befallen and have taken place, and not just Uvalde, Texas, you know, all over the country over the last, you know, few weeks, but especially Uvalde, Texas, um, I'd like to share three things with you that can assist you in becoming whole and healed after a tragedy like this. The first thing is time won't heal all wounds. Okay? Time doesn't heal all wounds. I know that's a cliche that a lot of people like to use, but that's a lie. Okay? Time will not heal all wounds. The only person that can heal all wounds is Jesus Christ. Okay? He's the only person that can heal whatever hurt, whatever, you know, unhealed wound that you has received. He can heal that. And he wants to heal you. Okay? He, he, it's, it's his desire that you be whole and that you become emotionally sound and not carrying all this uh, emotional hurt and this unhealed wounds and this baggage that we have, you dig? That is not his purpose. He wants us to be whole and to be healed. The second thing is <clears throat> listen the Bible presents God's solution for dealing with our our emotional pain right it, it the, the the bible gives us what we need for dealing with you know unhealed wounds okay the bible gives us exactly what we need in god's word right it presents the solutions we have to learn his word and apply his truths to our lives right when we learn his 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 when we learn what his solution is for that for that emotion that's just out of control and all over the place when we learn to apply his truths to our lives concerning you know um lingering hurt and and unresolved and unhealed wounds that will be our journey to recovery that will be that will be our chance to allow God to speak to us from the sincerity of his word and, and allow him to, to heal those, those unresolved issues, to heal those, um, those open hurts and wounds that have never been addressed. Because when those issues are never addressed, they fester. They become infected and they become rotten. And it's hard to recover. It's hard to heal from things that haven't been addressed and things that are still unresolved. You dig? But this is what God wants to do for us. Let his word speak to you. Let his word comfort you. Because in the Bible, in God's word, we have every solution to every problem, including this type of emotional hurt and unresolved, you know, um, wounds that we carry. And the third thing that I'd like to share is that God desires us to live in emotional. To, he desires us to live in his emotional strength and freedom. You dig? 
unshackled, okay? Unshackled and unchained, you know, from inner pain and 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 free from emotional weaknesses. God doesn't desire us to live being chained by our emotions, to be to be in in a weak state from our emotions, you dig? But he desires us to break those chains. He wants us to be emotionally free and he wants us to be unshackled from that that inner pain, that inside pain that sometimes no one can see, no one can understand. No one can understand the gravity of our tears and our hurt. You dig? But God wants to give us emotional strength and have us be free from from that because that's not his desire for us in this life. I've been through a real, real, real painful situation. And I know what I'm talking about. Okay, listen, lingering, ongoing, um, unaddressed and unhealed pain can be devastating, man, to an individual. And, and not only to that individual, but to the whole entire family, you know, the, you know, th this type of this type of hurt saps our energy. You know what I'm saying? It, it saps our life force. It drains our creativity. You dig it? It reroutes our our motivation and our enthusiasm, our, our, our zest for life. Right. Le leading to serious, I mean, serious health issues and 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 our overall effectiveness to be to be witnesses of Christ and what he's done in our lives right when we carry this pain when when it's this ongoing and 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 lingering hurt that's in us right this this, this unhealed unhealed and hurtful wounds that haven't been addressed. When those things aren't addressed, they are truly devastating. And a person carries those things. They don't forget, soon forget about those things unless they apply the word of God, unless they turn to God and seek his, his salve. You know what I'm saying? Unless they seek his healing, seek his wholeness, because that's where healing and wholeness come from, man. It come from God. And unless we get it from God, time is not going to heal these wounds. Only God's word, only his anointing, only his love can heal those wounds and heal that emotional hurt, those scars, you dig? And help us to recover, help us to become whole and help us to live again. It's only God. One love. This is your man, LeVon. Be encouraged on today. Turn to God and seek him. Seek his face for your wholeness and your healing. It's not going to come from man. It's not going to come from things. It's not going to come from a person. But it's going to come from Jesus Christ. You dig? Through the Holy Spirit. Be blessed on today. Be encouraged on today. Remember, I love you and I'm standing with you in spirit. It's this very type of hurt. It's the same type of hurt that Jesus came to heal when he said, come unto me, right? Come to me, all those that are broken hearted, heavy laden and broken hearted. Right. When he said. That he came. To proclaim liberty to the captives and to set those that were captive, those that have been taken captive to set them free. Right. He said that he came to bring sight to the blind. Right. And to set those that were oppressed free for those that were oppressed mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, 
emotionally oppressed. He came to set them free. This is what Jesus said he came to do, right? So if Jesus said that he came to heal the brokenhearted and to, to, and to proclaim liberty to those that were captive and to bring sight to the blind and to set those that were oppressed free. This is what Jesus said he came to do, right? But, but it was because of emotional pain, man. It's because of us dealing with emotional pain. We weren't equipped God didn't design us to deal with emotional pain and 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 unhealed hurt. That's not what we were designed for, man. But it's because of that emotional pain and unhealed wounds, right, that cause us to feel dejected. It causes us to feel less than on the inside, where, where to the point to where because of what we're dealing with emotionally. And mentally, we can't even see. We cannot see God's goodness because of what we're carrying. It's caused us to become blind. And, 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 and we feel stuck in our own darkness because we can't see God's goodness. Listen, Jesus came to set you free. He came to set me free. He came to make us whole and to make us complete again. You dig? So this is my question. In the midst of your hurt, in the midst of your pain, in the midst of it sitting like this, this hole in your heart, it, it won't heal. It won't go away. Are you willing to trust him? Are you willing to exchange with him? Your pain for his wholeness. Your 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 um your open wounds, your your unsettled wounds, you dig? Those unresolved wounds. Are you willing to exchange those wounds for his salve and wholeness? That's the question today. Are you willing to receive his strength? Take the strength that God offers so you don't have to deal with this emotional hurt and pain that is separating you and separating me when we walk in that and when we sit in it, separating us from God. That's not what God designed us for. You dig? Anyway, I just want to encourage y'all on today. Be encouraged on today. Turn to God for all your solutions to unresolved issues and hurts and open wounds. You dig? Don't let them fester. Don't let them get infected. Turn to God and his word and let his word treat your wounds and heal your hurts because he wants us whole and complete. You dig? Your man, LaVon. I'm out. One love. Remember, Lamelli E. Love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten.